economic growth is driven by a range of factors and most have to work in unison in order for that growth to be sustainable. It ranges from developing and growing small business and making the public sector enterprises more efficient. The issue around scale within the African context is very often around the infrastructure that doesn't allow it to scale as, as would you would in America or Europe. And number two is the skill sets in order to do that, both from an actual, actual technical skill point of view and from a management skill point of view. At the same time, there's a narrative that there isn't any capital available for business opportunities. There's this uh, misconception that there is no money in Africa for small business. I think the opposite is, is true. There is so much money pursuing business, um, good business in, in, in Africa right now. And the issue is that there is there's very little good business out there and what I call a CERTI, compelling economic right to exist. On the other hand, big business is looking for growth and in many instances, the last growth opportunity in some countries is getting involved in the private sector. Something that's very long overdue, I would argue, is privatisation. And that's not been talked about at the World Economic Forum in any formal session this week. I would argue a major handbrake on development and economic progress in this part of the world is the state continuous control of utility assets, infrastructure assets especially, across our continent. For countries to attract foreign direct investment, transparency and returns are key. But there's another source of capital that is perhaps more important, especially when it comes to infrastructure development. Domestic savings are at work. Um, we have seen fairly large sums um, being mobilized in Nigeria, for instance, um, over the past 10 years plus, um, about $20 billion in pension assets have been mobilized. Now, if these funds can be safely channeled into infrastructure, you know, they will help to move the dial. While a lot of focus is placed on FDI, there's also pension fund money that's in country that's being invested. And if there's an increase in that, it shows a confidence in the economy. I'm Angelo Coppola for CGTN in Durban, South Africa.